Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading a multi-character accessor by me. So let's get into it. Nubilet. Usually Nubilet didn't care much about what others said. He was past caring. He was a little bit too old to do that. Sometimes it got on his nerves. Sometimes you could ignore it better. Sometimes, like today, it may have made him a little bit ashamed. Listen, it was all about freedom and doing what you wanted, but as long as you stayed in your own lane without bothering anyone. And maybe, maybe just making out in public was not the best idea or the brightest one the two of you have ever had. In hindsight, you did think that no one else was around. You never really expected so some random civilian to walk in on you and catch the two of you making out in broad daylight. He had no idea that it would turn out this way. The two of you were hiding somewhere. This was not really his idea, more of yours, but he had agreed to it in the end. And that's what it resulted in. The two of you were too engrossed in your making out session to notice someone creeping up on you. And then, she just shook her head. The old lady. People these days, they seem to have no shame. That's all she said before she walked away. And that's when Nubilet heard her. And he felt himself blush a little bit. It was kind of embarrassing. And as you looked away, you laughed softly. Come on, you really care about that? She's just an old lady. It doesn't matter. It does. It's not really something that we should be doing here. It feels like we're violating them. By letting them see that. Hmm, I don't know. It's not like we wanted them to see. You say... But he shakes his head. Intent matters, yes. But we were careless, Wyan. We cannot justify ourselves or free ourselves from the blame. Really, he overthought it too much. But he thought it was quite adorable. And he did give him a kiss when he went back home. It all evened out. His mood was a little bit soured, but in the end, it was sweetened again by you. Lenny. He did not expect to be caught doing this with you, but it was beyond embarrassing. Not to mention, he was caught by his little sister, no less. The two of you were quite engaged in what you were doing. You did not focus on your surroundings, or the noise, the sound of footsteps, that was slowly creeping towards you. And he's not to be blamed. Really, he thought she was out. She told him she would be out today. But it seems as though she has forgotten something. And that's why she wanted to come back. So when she opened the door to see the TV in the living room during that, she was quite surprised. But disappointed. Of course she would be. Really, Lenny? In the living room? He blushed brightly, embarrassed, and honestly so were you, as you buried your face into his shoulder. You could have at least taken this to your room, but it seems you just didn't want to. I honestly can't believe you sometimes. What if it wasn't me? What if it was our little brother then? Would that have been alright with you? Of course not, but I made sure that he was not coming either, so... That's why I thought it would be a good idea to... You didn't think. Anyway, I just came here for something. You two can continue doing whatever. I don't really care. She said, leaving the TV frozen in place. Quite embarrassed by the encounter that just happened. Of course she would be. After all, she was quite a little bit, um, harsh, to say the least. She was not someone to hold back. And she did lecture him after as well. 
but as for you, he did not want to make you feel bad. So after she left, he did take your advice and took you into his own room so that two of you could stay comfortably without the worry of being caught. Although it took a little while for the two of you to do anything that would make you look caught in the first place. As the excitement had dwindled down after she came, Shao, it was not often Shao lost himself in something or in any act while he was doing it. Because most of the time, he was very, very careful and very conscious of when he was doing things, where he was doing them, and why. And why was not really the focus of the issue here, because he just loved you and that was it. But the issue was where and when, because he certainly should not be doing this in the morning, and should not be doing this out in the open. But it was on top of a mountain. Nobody should be here. And so far, he's been there every single day, for an entire year now, since it became a new favorite spot of his. And he's never seen anyone at this hour. So that's why he thought taking you here and spending some time together would be a good idea. This new development of the two of you actually doing this, it was totally unplanned, but a welcome surprise. So, when you heard the sound of flapping wings behind you, the two of you startled, and his face was scarlet red. Crap. Cloud retainer, what are you doing here? I... I wasn't... It's fine. One sees this happen, and is happy. Cloud retainer had said, before going off into a whole ass monologue. It was something to witness. He didn't know whether to be embarrassed, or just laugh, because it was honestly sweet how they were happy for you and kept... Ridiculing Shao as always, teasing him a little bit. We even joined in by the end. But Shao ended up teleporting, leaving you on the mountain. Oh, no. How am I going to go back? One does not mind giving you a ride on their back. That was what Cloud Retainer said. It was something. You knew you would not forget the situation anytime soon. It was very interesting, and very funny as well.